Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to now look at using uh, HSL for color change and particularly trying to nudge colors in the direction of teal and orange. But you can use any pair or any amount of nudging. So let's go to Adjustments, HSL. And this is the interface for Affinity Photo 1.7 onwards. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to pick colors and change each one. So if I uh, pick, say, red here, that will pick the reds in the picture. And I can use these up here to nudge the, the range that I'm selecting here. But better still, there's a picker here. So I can pick this and I can then click on, say, the red in the umbrella there. See, that now moves that around. So this is the range we're looking at here. Then to find out more about what where that is, turn the saturation right up. Now it's visible. Now we can see what that is. Now we can nudge things towards orange. So I can literally take the huge and just wave it which way. No, it's not that direction. Try the other way and get that. Ah, oh, there we go. That's about orange. That's it. Don't worry if it looks harsh because we're going to bring the saturation back down again to a kind of sensible level. There's a bit up there. We'll nudge that later. Now we're going to take the next preset, because these are effectively all presets, which you can change any way you like. So you effectively get three presets. So I click on that one there. And let's turn that up. Not pretty orange already, isn't it? Yeah, let's leave that one there. But we'll leave it selected so we can always choose another one. Go to... I'll go back, we don't want that orange, do we? Let's bring it back down again, something sensible. There we go. Let's go the next one. We'll just use this for these crates here. So I'll go to the picker and pick on that, and that's nudged those around there. Now we want to nudge these, turn it up, and we've got some other things selected here, no worries. And we'll nudge that around to something more cyan and then teal, because teal's between cyan and blue. And then bring that back down again. Something that's OK. Then what do we want next? Let's do the umbrella at the top there. So we click on the next one there. Click on that one. And we see you actually automatically get the picker set when you've, you're in this mode. So we'll turn the saturation up. Look, we've got the road as well here. So I will move this in a slightly more teal direction. It's not doesn't need much change there and it's a bit of a nudge. Let's watch the look at the umbrella at the top. Now that'll do and we'll bring that down again. There we go. And finally let's have a look at this thing over here. We'll click in that and turn that up. And so you can make that a little bit more Push it more towards the orange. Don't go into green. Yeah, OK, that'll do. And then bring it back down again. That's about as far as you're going to nudge this. But one thing you might note here is the blouse here has gone a bit blue. It's probably because the sunlight's coming through here and there's a faint amount which we've amplified. We can get rid of that simply with masking. So I just go to a paintbrush, get a black on that, paint onto the HSL here. And if I paint on that, that'll just go back to the original colour. So I can just paint away all the blue there. And there you go. That's it. So a bit down there. And that's back to the original. Because I had a pasty 100% there, which I needed. Let's have a look at another picture. And this is a picture which you, actually doesn't suit HSL. And that's because when we go to HSL here, and we want to look at changing it. I can click on one of these, which activates the picker, and I can then just pick her and click up here. That nudges around there. And turn the volume up on that, if you like, and turn this, whoops, towards, towards a, a kind of teal colour. Not much nudge needed there. And then bring it back down to something kind of useful. That's OK, and I could play with the C, but what about the orange? There's, there's no orange there. What if I want to make this white orange? I can't pick 
whites. So if I take one of these, for example, where's the most orange? There's a little bit here. And I can turn that up. But, you know, there's nothing really... I can't get that much towards orange. I can do very little there. Very little effect there. But this is a picture, clearly, that doesn't suit using HSL. If you wanted to make this a nice, great orange sunset, one of the other tools will be needed for that. There we go. HSL, very, very good for when you want to push reds towards te towards oranges and blues towards teals and so on and greens. However, not great when you've got lots of whites and things where you want to make them more orange and, or blacks that you want to make more teal. Thank you very much for watching.